air in the small town of Raven's Hollow always carried a chill, even in the warmth of the day. Nestled between dark, looming forests and surrounded by tales of old mysteries, the town held a secret of forgotten morgue that stood at the edge of the woods. Its walls whispered tales of the departed, a place shrouded in shadows and echoes of sorrow. I had heard about the morgue from the older kids at school, the ones who dared each other to venture close. It was a place forgotten by time, hidden from the town's bustling life. As a curious child, my friends and I decided to explore the whispers of the forgotten morgue one chilly autumn evening. The sun was setting, casting long shadows that danced around the trees like eerie specters. We gathered near the entrance of the woods, our flashlights cutting through the encroaching darkness. The whispers of the forgotten morgue grew louder as we approached, and the air became thick with an unsettling energy. The rusty gate of the morgue creaked open as we pushed it, revealing the decaying building that loomed in front of us. The moon's pale light revealed broken windows and vines that clung to the brick walls. The wooden door groaned as we cautiously entered, our flashlights flickering with every step. Inside, the air was damp, and the smell of mildew filled our nostrils. The flickering lights cast eerie shadows on the peeling wallpaper, creating illusions of movement in the stillness. We ventured deeper, drawn by the unseen force that seemed to guide us through the forgotten corridors. As we moved through the morgue, the whispers became more distinct. Faint cries and murmurs echoed in the air, causing a shiver to run down my spine. I exchanged nervous glances with my friends, but our curiosity urged us forward. The morgue seemed to have a life of its own, a heartbeat that pulsed through the forgotten walls. In one of the dimly lit rooms, we stumbled upon old autopsy tables covered in dusty sheets. The air felt heavier, and a sense of unease settled over us. Shadows danced on the walls, creating grotesque shapes that seemed to move independently. I could hear my heartbeat in my ears as we explored further, each step echoing in the silence. The whispers intensified as we reached the heart of the morgue, a room filled with rows of ancient drawers that held the secrets of the departed. The atmosphere grew colder, and our breaths formed misty clouds in the air. The room seemed frozen in time, a place where the past and present collided. As I approached one of the drawers, an inexplicable force compelled me to open it. The rusty handle resisted at first, but with a creak, the drawer revealed its macabre contents, a long-forgotten soul resting in eternal slumber. The whispers reached a crescendo, and a chill ran down my spine. Suddenly, the air became charged with an otherworldly energy. The flickering lights turned into a blinding glow, and the whispers transformed into anguished cries. We were no longer alone in the forgotten morgue, and the spirits of the past seemed to awaken in response to our intrusion. Panic set in as the room filled with a spectral presence, and we scrambled to escape the morgue. The once dormant shadows now seemed to claw at us, and the cries became deafening. The air itself felt heavy with the weight of the forgotten souls who sought release from their eternal prison. With our hearts pounding, we stumbled out of the morgue, leaving the whispers behind. The rusty gate closed with a final groan, sealing the secrets of the forgotten morgue once again. We stood in the moonlit clearing, breathless and shaken, realizing that some mysteries are better left undisturbed. Yet, the echoes of the forgotten morgue lingered in our minds, haunting us like a ghostly lullaby. The cold wind howled through the trees as we stood outside the forgotten morgue, the echoes of our encounter still ringing in our ears. My friends and I exchanged fearful glances, haunted by the chilling whispers that clung to our memories like shadows. Despite the terror that gripped us, curiosity and a strange allure drew us back to the mysteries of the morgue. In the days that followed, the whispers lingered in our minds like a haunting melody. 
Sleepless nights were filled with visions of ethereal figures and anguished cries. The forgotten morgue had left an indelible mark on our young souls, and an unspoken pact bound us together, urging us to return and confront the lingering mysteries. As the days turned into weeks, the pull of the morgue grew stronger, an invisible force that beckoned us back. One fateful evening, unable to resist the haunting call, we found ourselves standing once again at the entrance of the Forbidden Woods. The moon cast an eerie glow on the path ahead, as if illuminating our journey into the unknown. The rusty gate creaked open, almost welcoming us back into the realm of the Forgotten. Our flashlights flickered to life, cutting through the darkness as we ventured deeper into the heart of the morgue. The air was thick with anticipation, and the whispers surrounded us like a ghostly chorus. This time, we navigated the corridors with a strange familiarity, guided by an unseen force that led us to the room of drawers. The ethereal glow returned, casting an otherworldly light on the ancient drawers that held the secrets of the departed. The room seemed frozen in time, a portal to the past where the boundaries between the living and the dead blurred. As we approached the drawers, the whispers intensified, forming a symphony of sorrow and regret. I hesitated for a moment, my hand trembling as I reached for the rusty handle. The drawer groaned open, revealing the resting place of another forgotten soul. The room trembled with a spectral energy, and the air became charged with an ancient power. In that moment, the spirits seemed to awaken once again, their presence tangible and restless. Shadows danced on the walls, taking on form and substance. The anguished cries became more distinct, as if the forgotten souls sought to communicate the untold stories of their demise. As the room filled with a spectral presence, a figure materialized before us, a woman with hollow eyes and a tattered gown. She spoke in a voice that echoed through the ages, recounting tales of tragedy and loss. The room transformed into a tapestry of memories, each drawer unveiling a chapter of the town's dark history. The woman's voice resonated with pain as she revealed the story of a long-forgotten epidemic that had swept through Raven's Hollow, claiming the lives of many. The morgue had become a sanctuary for the departed, a place where their souls sought solace in the afterlife. However, over time, the morgue had been abandoned, and the souls left in limbo, yearning for release. Tears welled in our eyes as we listened to the tales of the forgotten. The weight of their stories pressed upon us, and an overwhelming sense of responsibility took hold. The woman implored us to help them find peace, to uncover the truth that had been buried with the passage of time. With newfound purpose, we embarked on a journey to unravel the mysteries of the forgotten morgue. Each drawer held a piece of the puzzle, and as we delved deeper into the town's history, the whispers transformed into guiding voices, leading us to the heart of the unresolved. The spirits became allies rather than adversaries, and the spectral energy that once filled the morgue now propelled us forward. Our quest unfolded like a surreal odyssey, revealing secrets that had long been concealed. We uncovered the names and stories of the departed, giving them a voice that echoed through the ages. The town, once shrouded in darkness, began to heal as the whispers of the forgotten morgue faded into the past. As we stood outside the morgue once more, the rusty gate closed behind us with a final groan. The spirits had found peace, and the ethereal glow that had illuminated the room of drawers dimmed. The once forgotten morgue, now a symbol of redemption, stood silent in the moonlit night. Our hearts heavy with the weight of the past, we left the morgue behind, forever changed by the journey into the realms of the forgotten. The echoes of sorrow had transformed into whispers of gratitude, and the haunting melodies that once haunted our dreams now carried a sense of closure. The town of Raven's Hollow, once bound by the shackles of its dark history, 
could now move forward into the light, leaving the whispers of the forgotten morgue to rest in eternal peace.